Ho Yun Tan now wears a face mask when he walks around UC Davis. Though there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Yolo County, it makes the sophomore from China feel safe. He's concerned about the disease. There's only one province separating his family back home from Wuhan, ground zero for the outbreak. I'm kind of worried about my family. The entire UC system has suspended study abroad programs in China in the wake of the coronavirus. It's kind of a right thing because right now what we want to do is to keep the virus spreading. We want to hold the virus and uh, shut the virus down. The travel halt comes after the CDC issued their highest warning for China and the Department of State issued a level three out of four advisory to reconsider travel. I support the UC deciding to do this because it's good that they're trying to protect their students. Kimberly is a senior at UC Davis. She's wearing a mask not to avoid the disease, but to protect her identity. She's a leader in the campus's pro-democracy organization, Hong Kong Pass, along with fighting for equal rights in China, they're also fighting against the coronavirus by sending masks to relatives in Hong Kong. They're extremely concerned um, with the situation. And again, it's like we don't, no one wants to panic here, but at the same time, people want to be like prudent and cautious. And my family in Hong Kong has had a hard time like getting masks and hand sanitizer just like everyone else. As the UC system suspends its abroad program in China, UC Davis students are hoping Hong Kong's government imposes stricter travel restrictions. My cousin works in a hospital in Hong Kong and he and many other people that work in the hospitals there, many medical professionals are just very afraid of what could happen. Now half a world apart, Tan's message to China Wuhan, stay strong. The most important thing is Wuhan Jiao, Wuhan fighting. We, all of us, were standing behind you. In Davis, Marley Martinez, KCRA 3 News.